We have pterodactyls upstairs, apparently. <laughs> Today I went for a five mile run, just easy pace, testing out the legs, seeing how things felt. You can take a look at it right here. The run went, run went pretty good. You know, my legs feel pretty well, uh, pretty good. The only lingering issues I still have from the race are my right knee. I have a little bit of pain at the tip of it from when I fell. I mean, I supermaned it, went straight out, hit my hand. It's still nasty bruised and uh, the knee apparently is a little sore. Um, and then my heels uh, from those nasty blisters, man, they just were chewed up. So I had to, I put some big band-aids over them for the run. I uh, caused the left one to open up a little bit because the blended had some blood and stuff on it when I was done. So not good. I'm not going to run tomorrow. I'll give it another day and try Friday, see how that goes. But, you know, I mean, other than that, I feel pretty good. One of my toes on my left foot, I, I do remember smashing it into a rock pretty good when I was running and uh, apparently it <laughs> doesn't feel great so far, but uh, not, not that bad, you know, so nothing that'll keep me from running. Just hopefully those blisters will uh, heal up quickly and I'll be able to get back to doing some training and thinking about my training, I kind of, uh, I'm going to reevaluate things and uh, change things up a little bit. You know, I've got the No Business 100 October 16th, so only like just barely over three weeks away. Gosh, let's see, that'd be freaking alien. So 23 days away, um, not far at all. So uh, instead of trying to get out and get on some trails again, I think what I'm gonna do is just stick to the roads, work on improving my VO2 max again, work on getting some of that foot turnover going after a, after a vert heavy cycle for Barkley Fall Classic, try, trying to get elevation gain and get lots of it. Uh, you know, the running kind of suffers a little bit when you do that, or at least for me it does. So I need to get back to some just straight running, and I'll just stick to the roads and work on longer road runs. Um, like I said, improving the VO2 max, the foot turnover, uh, getting that aerobic capacity built back up. And in the end, that's going to help me on on, uh, on the trails. You know, it'll help me be able to continue to push further and uh, and do do better, I hope. So we'll see. That's my plan, so I gotta reevaluate or re restructure my uh, my training over the next couple of weeks. Cause honestly, if it's only if it's only 23 days till the race, I really only have gosh, so I only have like 10 days of training maybe if it's 23 days till the race. But I need to get a taper in. Um, it's not going to be a a great long taper, but cause I need to you know I need to do some running. I just you know it's all I have, it's all I can work with, so I gotta do what I can do, and that that's it. So. Uh, I've got a good base uh, to fall on. I know I can get it done. Just gonna have to grind it out. Uh, might not be able to do as well as I had originally wanted, but you know I still am confident I'll finish, and that's what's important. You know, get the belt buckle, get get the uh, get it completed, get it done. So I'm kind of working on some projections as well for you know my wife crewing, uh, so she'll know when to when to expect me at certain aid stations where crews allowed. But you know uh, it's hard to project a hundred miler. You know you can. Have a plan, and the plan's only good, as they say, until the first shot gets fired down range, and then it's adept. So, uh, plan will be good for about the first 30, 40 miles. Then we'll just take the uh, obstacles as they come and figure out how to uh, problem solve and move on and finish. So we'll see. We'll start with a good plan, and we will get it done. But thank you to everybody for uh, hanging around and checking this out. Thank you to everybody on commenting on the video yesterday, you know, wishing me congratulations on uh, hitting over 400 subscribers. Just thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, and then thank you for checking this video out. If you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down in the corner and uh, you'll get future videos from me. If you want to try out any of the gear that I run with, you know, my any of the socks, the clothing, the trail running gear, you know, the pack, the, any of that, I've got some links down below. Check those out. You know, they are affiliate links. They cost you nothing at all, but if you purchase those, you know, I do get a little commission so you help the channel continue to grow and produce content and get videos out. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you tomorrow.